Hello, welcome to How to Make Wine from Grapes, sponsored by thegiftofwine.com. Step 1. Remove the grapes from the stalks. Step 2. Press the grapes to remove all the juice. Step 3. Measure the specific gravity of the juice. Pour some juice through a sieve. Pour the juice into a testing jar. Test the specific gravity using a hydrometer. This will tell you how much sugar is in the juice and how much you will need to add to get the required alcohol content. There's more information on my website. Step 4. Put the crushed grapes into a brewing bucket. Step 5. Add one crushed Camden tablet per gallon of wine. Step 6. Add the Camden tablet to the brewing bucket. The Camden tablet will kill any harmful bacteria that is on the grape skins. Step 7. Cover the brewing bucket and leave for 24 hours for the bacteria to be killed. Step 8. Make a yeast starter. Pour some boiled water into a glass jar. Place the jar in some cool water and allow the boiled water to cool. Add a tablespoon of sugar. Stir until the sugar is fully dissolved. Then take a wine yeast. add to the sugar solution. Cover to prevent bacteria getting to the yeast and then after about an hour or so the yeast will start reacting with the sugar producing alcohol. Step 9. Dissolve sugar in boiling water. The exact amount of sugar will depend on your specific gravity measurement made earlier. Stir the sugar until it is fully dissolved in the water, then allow to cool. Then add to the brewing bucket. Step 10. Add the yeast starter to the brewing bucket. Step 11. Cover the brewing bucket and leave at room temperature. This is primary fermentation where the yeast reacts with the sugar to produce alcohol. Stir the bucket daily. As you can see the grapes have rose to the top of the bucket. They need to be pressed below the surface every day and the mixture stirred. Step 13. After 6 days, sterilise a second brewing bucket with Camden tablets. Step 14. Sterilise a piece of muslin cloth. The cloth needs to be about 1 metre square.
Step 15. Empty the bucket and place the cloth over a sieve as shown. Step 16. Pour the fermented wine from the first bucket through the cloth and through the sieve. The cloth will capture all the grapes and let the juice pass through. Step 17. Gather the cloth together and squeeze all the juice from the grapes. Try and get as much juice as you can. Step 18. Measure the specific gravity a second time. This will tell you how much sugar you need to add to get the required alcohol content. Step 19. Dissolve the sugar in hot water and allow to cool before adding to the grape juice. Step 20. Cleanse and sterilize the demijohns using Camden tablets. Step 21. Siphon the fermenting wine into the demijohns. This stage of fermentation is called secondary fermentation. It's less vigorous than the first stage in the bucket. Step 22. Fit the airlocks and leave until fermentation has finished. The airlocks prevent bacteria getting into the wine. Step 23. Sterilise and clean your bottles. The wine should not be transferred from the demijohns until all the fermentation is finished. This could take up to several months. Step 24. Siphon from the demijohns into the bottles. When siphoning, place the tube low down in the bottle, below the level of the liquid. This avoids getting bubbles and air into the wine which could introduce bacteria and spoil it. Step 25. Cork the bottles. Drink and enjoy. For more information on winemaking, visit my website www.thegiftofwine.com. Thank you.